Hi, I'm Carrie Washington, and I am gonna walk you through some skincare, a little bit of hair care, and then like an everyday makeup look with a bold lip. So we're gonna start out with hair, and I use a homemade kind of scalp tonic that I put together. I put it in my favorite spray bottle, which is this pattern bottle that my friend Tracy Ellis Ross made. I like to get in the roots and underneath. So in here is um, distilled water and non-alcohol witch hazel, and then some essential oils. I have rosemary, eucalyptus, peppermint, and lavender. So it keeps your scalp super healthy, and also you become like walking aromatherapy. <laughs> I like to use a scalp spray because sometimes when you're wearing protective styles, braids for a long time, your scalp can get a little itchy or have a product build up. So the witch hazel keeps your skin on your scalp really fresh and clean and the oils stimulate growth and also calm, which is nice. Braids are a great way for me to get through the holidays Still looking cute without spending hours and hours and hours in front of the mirror. I do think of my skincare routine as self-love, you know, because our skin is our largest organ and it's important to take care of our skin in order to take care of our overall health. So when I have extra time, like I do now, I like to light a candle, make a moment of it, this candle is actually from my friend Alicia Key's new holistic line, Key's Soul Care. It smells incredible. It's amazing, like her. Really obsessed with this ultra gentle cleanser. So I use about that much. I add some water and I get to town. So I've always had to think a lot about my skin because I have eczema. So like I started going to dermatologists when I was a kid and really paying attention to what works and what doesn't and how the weather changes my skin. For me, it's not just about like looking cute, it's also really about being able to have skin that's healthy and not too itchy and cracked and all that stuff that happens with eczema. So before I moisturize, I love to use a little bit of refreshing rose water and I have a special one that's my Aura Cleansing Mist. So I love this and it smells so good and it cleanses your aura and your life. I always love a serum, lots of different serums for all different kinds of weather. Invisible Daily Serum from Neutrogena has SPF and it also has ginger, which I love. After applying the serum, I might do some eye patches, which I'm gonna do now. So I have these, and I love these because they are 24 karat. Cue the music. 24 karat. They're great before red carpet, but they're also great just like on the weekend when I have the time. Because I find that whenever I can just spend a little extra time taking a little extra care, and it kind of stays with me all week long. When I was growing up, my mom, she's not like a super glamorous person, she's a retired professor of education, but every single week without fail, she went and got her nails done. Um, and I think that had a big impact on me to know that there were some areas in her life where she was willing to put herself first, even though so much of the rest of her life was dedicated to other people. Self-care isn't about fixing yourself or twisting yourself into a pretzel to please other people. It's really about being the best version of you. Oh. All right, so now it's time for moisture. Very important. I am addicted to hyaluronic acid. Moisture for me is the key to it all drinking enough water, making sure that I'm putting moisture inside and outside. <sighs> A little bit of lip balm, also with hyaluronic acid. Let's move on to makeup. 
So I tend to use two different concealers in two very similar shades, but I like to layer. And when I first started working with Neutrogena, they did not make a concealer or a foundation to match my skin tone. So one of the first things I did when I started working with the company was work to expand their shade range so that really all different kinds of people with all different kinds of skin tones could benefit from the amazing science that we're doing. So I like to start under the eye. And so now I'm gonna blend all this beautiful bouncy light with a slightly darker, richer color that matches some of the darker areas of my face. Now it's time for foundation. I like to put it on my hand and then grab a foundation brush. This amazing brush from Hourglass is a fave. I'm gonna play with brows next. So I like to just brush my brows first to kind of know what I'm dealing with on any given day. I often get really tempted to try to just like do something more permanent with my brows, but I feel like as an actor, I always want to be able to change my brows. Obviously, Broomhilda von Schaaf from Django does not have the same eyebrows as Olivia Pope. So that's why I never want to do anything too permanent. I love to use a brow pencil to just kind of fill in. And this brow pencil I love, Anastasia, duh. Um, I love this brow pencil because it has the brush and the pencil so I can go back and forth to finesse the look. I don't mind that they look a little wild. I kind of prefer that. Um, so I just sort of fill in the spaces that look inconsistent and try to make it look like the brow is telling one story as opposed to like a hundred different one. Okay, now that my brows are done, the frame is complete. I think I'll move on to contour. So what I like to do is get another brush. I'm super into the brushes, obviously. And I like to take a brush that I can turn into a fan brush and spread it out, fan it till it's super thin. So contouring is definitely new for me, but I've noticed that if I don't do like a little bit of carving out, then I look really like flat and without dimension on my various Zoom rendezvous. Now that I have a teeny bit of contour, um, I wanna add some highlighter. And I really love Selena Gomez's new line, Rare Beauty. Put a teeny bit on two fingers, dab them together, and then... It's so important to blend, blend, blend. So of all my brushes, this is my favorite. This is also an hourglass, and this is how you make it all come together. The contour, the highlighter, the blush, it all becomes one gorgeous landscape of like a sunset. Let's work on the eyes, shall we? When I first started wearing makeup, I would put mascara on and forget about the teeny lashes on the inside and the teeny ones on the outside. So I try to make sure that I get them all. I do love having one of these around. It's a really great tool to go in and continue to adjust your lashes without any mascara on the wand. I love to play with different liners. I love a coal liner. When I lived in India, the women in India, like they just, they thrive and exist on coal eyeliner. So I fell in love with it. It's also very forgiving. You can make all kinds of mistakes with your mascara, get it all over the bottom of your lid, lid but if you add a little bit of coal eyeliner and blend it, nobody knows. Okay, now it's time for a pop of lip. 
I'm a little bit inspired by my robe, a little bit inspired by the world we live in right now. So I wanna go with a black owned beauty company called Mented. It's founded by two black women and they develop colors, especially for pigmented skin, skin with more melanin, magical black girl skin like mine. Let's go with red carpet red because not a whole lot of red carpets in the real world. So let's put them on our face. There we go. I really have to tell you that I love the shape of my lips. And I used to work with makeup artists who would try to line my lips smaller than they actually are to try to have a smaller lip to conform to some other beauty ideal. But I love my full lips and I love rocking a bold color on them. And so there we are. So I take out my hair. I have a gorgeous lip, just a really natural, simple eye. And let's just do a little powder. I'm super ready for Zoom or even a date night, but as I'm looking at it, I feel like I just wanna add a little bit of sparkle. Just add a little glitz right here in the corner. Yes. And now I'm ready to wear my crown. I'm super ready maybe for date night because this is cute. So maybe some Zooms first and then a date night. And thanks for joining me. Mwah.